Has China truly revolutionized chip manufacturing by passing the need for EUV lithography machines? Explore this groundbreaking claim and its implications for global technology dominance. Stick around to uncover the future of semiconductor innovation. Chips play a crucial role in our lives. Our everyday devices like mobile phones, computers, and even washing machines are powered by chips. However, creating these chips involves the use of a lithography machine, particularly for finer chip designs that demand advanced fabrication processes. Despite China's proficiency in chip design, exemplified by companies like Huawei High Silicon, the country relies on other nations for lithography machines due to restrictions imposed on Dutch company ASML by the United States. This dependence poses limitations on chip manufacturing within China. Nonetheless, there's talk of China having devised a chip manufacturing technique that circumvents the need for a lithography machine. This raises questions about why lithography machines present a challenge in China and how the country should address this issue. Additionally, what potential does the new chip manufacturing technology from China hold? An ASML executive once remarked, even if you provide Chinese engineers with the blueprints, they may struggle to construct an EUV lithography machine. This statement underscores the complexity involved in building such a machine. The lithography machine constitutes the costliest component of semiconductor manufacturing equipment, accounting for approximately 25 to 30 percent of expenses. Furthermore, the production of lithography machines relies not only on advanced core technologies, but also on a robust supply chain. This understanding sheds light on why ASML executives express such sentiments. However, relying solely on ASML cannot propel a company to industry leadership. Another critical factor is the ability to seize opportunities and exhibit innovation. ASML experienced a significant breakthrough during the transition from a 193 nanometers to a 157 nanometers process. Historically, lithography machines followed the dry method, utilizing progressively advanced exposure light sources to drive technological advancements. The wavelength of these light sources evolved from 365 nanometers to 248 nanometers and eventually to 193 nanometers. However, further advancement along this path became challenging. Many companies, including industry giants Nikon and Canon, attempted to enhance light sources with a 157 nanometer wavelength but encountered obstacles. During this period, immersion technology emerged as a novel technical concept. Despite skepticism about its feasibility and the associated costs, ASML took the pioneering step of developing immersion-type lithography machines, ultimately achieving success. Nikon and Canon's reluctance to embrace this technical innovation resulted in significant losses of research and development funds and placed them at a competitive disadvantage against ASML. ASML's success stems not only from its cutting-edge technology, but also from its proactive approach to seizing opportunities and fostering innovation. Can China replicate the success of ASML? The answer is no. Every success cannot simply be duplicated. However, in today's dynamic landscape, where change is constant, this also holds true for EUV lithography machines. The suppression of Huawei has prompted many countries to recognize the significance of core technologies and independent research and development. Consequently, European countries, Japan, South Korea, Russia, and others have all embarked on independent efforts to develop lithography machines, aiming to break ASML's monopoly. Manufacturers like Kyocera and Canon have bypassed ASML and utilized EUV lithography machine technology to introduce the NIL process. This approach allows for the production of 5 nanometer chips without relying on ASML's EUV lithography machine. Moreover, NIL technology has the potential to significantly reduce production costs, expected to be up to 90% lower than those of EUV lithography machines. Consequently, ASML is likely to face considerable challenges. Its collaboration with the United States to impede China has garnered global attention, posing risks for any manufacturer considering cooperation with ASML. Furthermore, emerging technologies offer alternatives to EUV lithography machines. There are indications that NIL technology could enable the mass production of 5 nanometer processed chips by 2025. European countries, Japan, South Korea, and China are making continuous investments in semiconductor research and development, breaking the monopoly of EUV lithography machines. 
may not necessarily occur through packaging processes, but could involve direct replacement of these machines to enable mass production. Chinese chip manufacturing technology has reached a new stage of advancement. As Wang Xuanfu, CEO of BYD, aptly stated, chips are man-made, not gods. The recent emphasis on independent R and D by the United States has prompted a collective awakening, encouraging domestic manufacturers to increase their investments in research and innovation. This commitment suggests that they will likely overcome existing challenges in the near future. Furthermore, China's research into lithography machine technology has progressed to the mid-level. Large-scale production of mid-range lithography machines is imminent, indicating that China has acquired essential technologies required for this type of machine. Research on EUV high-end lithography machines is also underway. Reports indicate that the Chinese Academy of Sciences has successfully installed the first domestic high-energy synchrotron radiation light source equipment capable of engraving high-end process chips. Additionally, Shanghai Microelectronics Company Limited has received linear low-lens coating devices and nano-focusing lens coating devices, alleviating pressure on lithography lenses to some extent. Tsinghua University has recently achieved a significant milestone by completing the development of a new particle accelerator light source called Steady State Microbunching, or SSMB. This technology holds immense potential as a direct application for future EUV lithography machines. Additionally, China's chip union technology made headlines a few days ago with the announcement of their innovative 3D4F squared DRAM architecture technology, which is based on high-top technology. This chip manufacturing method does not rely on EUV lithography machines and is specifically designed for producing DRAM chips. This represents yet another breakthrough in chip manufacturing that circumvents the need for EUV lithography machines. This technology offers several advantages. Firstly, it sidesteps patent barriers associated with traditional DRAM design and manufacturing processes. Secondly, by eliminating the requirement for EUV lithography machines, it significantly reduces production costs. Furthermore, it allows manufacturers to avoid potential restrictions imposed by international manufacturers. Overall, this innovation represents a promising avenue for advancing chip manufacturing capabilities while overcoming existing limitations. The current progress in chip technology development in China marks a significant turning point. If these advancements mature, China's chip industry will no longer be constrained by reliance on lithography machines. These developments underscore China's dedicated efforts in vigorously pursuing the development of lithography machines, yielding tangible results against the backdrop of global acceleration in research and development of lithography machine technology. I am confident that China possesses the capability to develop its own lithography machine. Historically, China has thrived under pressure, leveraging it as motivation for innovation. This resilience is exemplified by past achievements, such as the Two Bombs and One Satellite Initiative, the development of shield tunneling machines, subsea immerse tube technology, beta satellites, and advancements in 5G technology. China's journey from obscurity to leading positions in various fields reflects its determination to progress and excel. In light of this, it is evident that China is well poised to continue its trajectory towards technological self-sufficiency and leadership in the global arena. What do you think will be the most impactful development in semiconductor technology in the coming years, and how you envision it shaping the future of global industries? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Explore endless tech possibilities for an exciting future.